Sometimes a permanent RV dinette is just bulky and takes up too much living space. We have the perfect solution for that. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at travel trailers with no dinettes. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video. So you can check out which one of these three campers with no dinettes we like and why. So without any further ado, let's get started with our reviews. This travel trailer is the Coleman Light Series, model number 1805RB. It is 22 feet, 11 inches long. The unloaded vehicle weight on it is 4,495 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating is 7550, so it has a very impressive cargo carrying capacity of 3,000 and 56 pounds. Now, this is a great camper for couples. When you first walk into this camper, the whole thing is wide open right in front of you. It really has a nice big feel to it for a rather small camper. Now, you'll notice immediately on my right-hand side, this is where your bed is. And let's get a measurement on this. It is, this is about 80 inches long and 60 inches wide so I'd say we have a full-size queen bed in here which is really terrific underneath of the bed there is a small amount of storage space under here it's about half the size of the bed it's not accessible from outside but it does give you some extra storage capacity inside your travel trailer and there's a ton of it in here and you'll see it as we work our way through but right away you'll notice over top of the bed area you've got all this storage space so you've got a wardrobe closet on each side of the bed, very nice and deep and large. You can hang things in here very easily. And then you've got even more storage space over top. And I really like the way they have it closed in with a couple doors with the smoke glass finish. You'll also notice on each side of the bed that there is a nightstand. It even has some drawer space built into it, which is really terrific, I think. And then, there's USB ports on each side of the bed that you, so you can plug in and recharge overnight. I also want to point out that on each of the nightstands on both sides of the bed, there is an electrical receptacle so you can plug in whatever you have to charge overnight or a CPAP or whatever that you need. And I also want to point out there's a window on each side of the bedroom so you can get a nice cross breeze in here while you're sleeping. Now, as I go into the kitchen area, I want to get a quick measurement of the ceiling height while I'm thinking about it. Ceiling height in here is six feet, eight inches tall. So that's a pretty good ceiling height um, for all you taller folks out there. Now, right next to the door, you go into the kitchen area. And again, this is what we would call an inline kitchen. Everything's right in line. And you'll notice the sink right off the bat. This is a nice farmhouse style stainless steel sink. Nice big single bowl, pretty deep. And it's got a terrific gooseneck faucet with a sprayer built in too. So I like that feature. I love the light over top of the kitchen area. Um, it just helps to bring in a lot of light into the kitchen. Now you'll also notice above the sink, you have some additional storage space. And you'll notice that you have a microwave and this is just a regular microwave, not a convection oven. But you've got a three burner stove and then you have a regular oven in here, which is nice, especially if you want to throw a pizza in there one night. And you've got lots of storage underneath the kitchen sink and another sort of deep drawer in here. It's, it's deep height-wise, not length-wise, but you could get some pots and pans in here and things like that. Right past your stove top, you have a good size refrigerator in here with separate freezer. And then one other thing to note is they have this built-in storage area above the refrigerator. I've really never seen this before, so that's a really great idea uh, just so you can throw extra stuff up there. I think they've done a nice job making a lot of storage spots throughout this trailer. So this part of the camper is what really makes us feel like this is the perfect travel trailer for a couple. And that is, it's just so quaint and nice. There's no dinette. It's just got a nice comfy couch. Um, it does have a separate table that you with stows behind the couch. You can pull it out and set it up right in front of your couch so you have a place to eat. Um, and actually, this is a reclining sofa, so you can sort of chill out here and relax. You'll also notice that there's this strap here. So this will pull out and jackknife into a, a small bed 
one person could sleep here, probably a child, um, and that's about it. But um, anyway, it's nice and cozy. This area does slide out. It's got a nice big window above. And then you'll notice in the corners, even more little storage space in both corners of this slide out area. Now, as we wrap around through here, you'll notice you have your TV location here, storage above, and then for all the mood and ambiance you could ever want, you've got a nice fireplace right here as well. So here I am in the back of this travel trailer, standing in the shower like I usually do. And even though I'm five feet, 11 inches tall, you could use that as a gauge, but I'll go ahead and measure it up. So from the shower base to the ceiling is six feet, one inches tall, but there is a skylight back here and that will get you to six feet, six inches tall. So if you're a taller person and you stay in the skylight area, you'll be in good shape. Good size, basic shower. And then you've got your commode right here, which, hey, on the left side, I've got plenty of room. On the right side, you know, I hit the vanity, but that's not too bad. Now, this is the half of the bathroom in this trailer that we really think is special. This bathroom spans the whole width of the back of the trailer, and they've done a really nice job. There's a huge wardrobe cabinet that's back here. There's a bar up top so that you can hang things, but that's a lot of space to hang clothes. And then down below, full extension drawers that come out, very well done. And then you've got tons of storage underneath of your sink as well. Got a small vanity sink in here. And then of course you have your medicine cabinet above, but just a fantastic dry bath in the back of this travel trailer. This travel trailer from Venture RV is the Sonic Light SL, model number 150 VRB. Uh, it's got an unloaded vehicle weight of just 3,000 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating on it is 3,680 pounds and it's 19 feet, one inches long. It's a fantastic small camper. Now, when you first walk into this camper, you walk right into the living and kitchen area and you'll notice on the right hand side you've got this really nice comfy couch here you might be wondering where's the bed well this has a murphy bed set up which makes the most use of this space for sure because you can sit on it as a couch and then at night you can just very easily not so easily but just gotta grab it put the couch down it's got one latch here in the middle and then this folds down and it's got a tri-fold mattress, so you just pop that right over and there you go. Now you'll notice back here, there is a separate dinette table, which is removable. So when you are sitting on your couch and you need a table to have dinner, you just set up your table and you've got a great little dinette set up. When you fold it up, it fits right back here and everything folds back into place. It even comes with a bedspread. Um, but one other nice feature is that it's, it's got a window up here as well so if you're laying in bed and you do want a little extra light or you want to look outside and see what's going on you can do that now one thing i'll note very quickly is at each end of the bed there's like a little cubby behind there's also an electrical receptacle on both sides or on one side and then usb ports on the other so you can go ahead and charge your phone and things like that overnight now this bed looks to be a short queen it's 60 inches by oh about 70 inches so it's definitely on the short side of the short queens that are out there but it's a cool little murphy bed setup and uh, makes the most of the space now you'll also notice that it's got some storage overhead with the cargo nets which looks really nice and then it's got a nice wardrobe closet on each side and then down below the wardrobe closets there are also another um, electrical receptacle nice big window in here and then above that you've got your tv location and that can swing out on an arm bracket so you can lay in bed or sit on the couch and watch tv so just across from the couch is the kitchen area and so this kitchen area is actually a pretty good size i mean it's got a nice deep single bowl round sink in here nice big overhead faucet a little bit of counter space too so not a bad setup we have a two burner range over here and then below that, we do have a convection microwave oven, which is great since there's not a regular oven in here. You can take advantage of that. And you have full extension drawers and also some more storage underneath your countertop space. Up top, 
we have these etched glass doors which look really nice and then behind there you have additional storage as well right across from the kitchen area you have your refrigerator it's a perfect location in here and look at the size of this fridge big fridge for a small camper and it's just super deep so here I am in the bathroom and this bathroom is phenomenal it's the entire width of the back of this trailer and it just is nice and big and roomy in here now I'm in the corner shower standing in here right now it's got my favorite shower set up where it's a corner shower with the glass doors that slide and it's just got plenty of room the um the headroom in the shower is, is pretty decent because there's a skylight overhead so you've got a maximum of about six feet seven inches in here it's got this nice corner vanity set up here lots of room it's got some storage here an additional countertop area for you and then you have your medicine cabinet over top and then down below you have even more storage underneath your sink here i am sitting on the commode it's nice and roomy i mean the elbow test it's not too bad it's not full extension but i have plenty of room sitting here now across from the shower and the vanity and next to the commode is this gigantic closet that i'm sitting in and it's got a bar that goes across the top so you can hang things down and it's about four feet in here so very very big closet space in the bathroom we just wanted to take a minute and thank our friends at leo's rv in maryland for letting us come here today and shoot video of all these awesome trailers they are a fantastic rv dealership and if you're interested in a new camper can't think of a better place that you could buy one this travel trailer is the Forest River Nobo 19.5. The unloaded vehicle weight on it is 3,456 pounds. It has a cargo carrying capacity of 1,309 pounds. So the gross vehicle weight rating on this trailer is 4,765 pounds. The length on it is 22 feet 8 inches and it can sleep up to for people now when you first walk into this travel trailer you walk into the back of the travel trailer to the left of me you have your refrigerator and then a nice big bathroom but to the right of me is where the rest of the trailer is and I'll get started our review here now the first thing you'll notice is the kitchen area this is a very nice kitchen setup I really like it you have these nice big cabinets overhead for storage and then underneath here you've got a two burner uh, stove with a really nice big round deep bowl sink with a high gooseneck faucet over top so very nice setup here down below we have a convection microwave so you can do a lot with this microwave and then you have even more storage next to that now as we move along through here you'll notice you have a really nice big tv above you could even mount a larger tv than this if you liked and then below that, you've got all this storage here, a uh, couple of shelves inside, and then this would be your wardrobe cabinet. And you'll notice it even has a safe built in there as well. Now, one other really cool feature in this kitchen setup is you'll notice down here on the floor, you can sweep up your whole floor in here and then just lift that up. Sweep all your dirt right into there and it will just vacuum it all right away. Directly across from the kitchen, you'll notice there is a nice big comfy couch here. This couch is very, very comfortable and it has a separate dinette table that the legs fold up underneath so you can stow it away or you can use it outside of your trailer too if you wanted to. So it's very versatile. Um, but the thing I like about it is you don't have that typical dinette set up in here you have a nice comfy couch that you would use the majority of time and then you'd have your table to eat and enjoy it that way now this couch also converts into a bed um, and this is just a jackknife sofa and um, they're saying that two people could sleep here if you had two small kids they could definitely easily sleep here if you have an adult I would say just one adult could sleep here comfortably if it was two people it'd be really kind of cramped over top though you have more uh, storage space over top and i really like these cabinets with the glass inset it just gives everything a really nice feel and then you have a window over top of the couch location so towards the front of this trailer is where the bed is and this is a good size bed setup it is uh, 60 inches wide and 
80 inches long. So it would be considered a short queen bed, but it's a longer short queen than some of the ones that we've seen. We've seen them as short as 72 inches and as long as 84. Over top here, you've got even more storage, but one really nice feature they have is the storage is all lit up and they have the glass doors here as well. So it just gives a really nice look. They use frosted glass here, so you can't really see inside here very well, um, but it's just a really nice setup. And then you have a couple of overhead lights here. And really what's nice about this bed is you can get out from both sides of the bed so you don't have to disturb your partner getting in and out of bed at night. You've got countertop space, nightstand space, additional storage space, and then there's a receptacle on each side as well. So if you wanna charge your phones or you have a CPAP machine or anything like that, it's really a great setup for all that type of stuff. And you've also got a window on each side and a nice big window in the front. So you have plenty of room, plenty of light in here, plenty of fresh air for a cross breeze if you'd like to do that as well. And finally, you can lift up the bed and there's even more storage underneath here too. So here we are towards the back of the trailer again. I should have opened the fridge when I was here the first time, but I did not. But it's got a nice big freezer up top, nice and deep. Very good size fridge down below as well. So here I am in the bathroom, and this is a very nice big bathroom for a travel trailer. I really like these corner shower setups with the glass doors. Very nice, water doesn't get out, and they're nice and roomy too. There's plenty of room inside of here. Now, headspace wise, uh, I'm 5'11", many of you that have seen us before know that, but inside the skylight area you have 6 feet 5 inches of height, so a pretty good amount of height in here. And just the regular ceiling height throughout the camper, I forgot to get it when I measured the bed, is just about 6 feet 6 inches tall, so a decent amount of headroom. Outside of the shower you'll notice the vanity area here has a nice big medicine cabinet. And there's a couple of shelves in here for storage. There's another shelf down below, which is just open. And then you have a good size vanity sink and even more storage space down below that. And the commode in here faces this direction, which is really actually pretty good because you have a very good amount of elbow space in here. If the door was closed, you would not feel cramped at all. Okay, so you always ask me first. I'm going to ask you, which one was your favorite? Fair enough. Well, I liked all three of them. They all had really nice advantages to them. Agreed. But the one that I'm going to choose is going to be the Coleman Light, which was the first one in the video. And the one thing that really impressed me the most about that travel trailer is the cargo carry capacity of over 3,000 pounds. It's like 3,056 wow, pounds of cargo carry capacity. Now, if you RV with anyone like Susan, <laughs> then I can fill it. <laughs> you need every single ounce of that 3,000 and some cargo carrying capacity pounds because she will buy every gizmo and gadget under the stun to fill that thing up. Absolutely. So anyway, that's why that's my favorite. But I, I liked it because it had a great floor plan. Um, there was tons and tons of storage space in there, which we just never seem to have enough. Right. Yeah. You can space. never have too much storage so, space in a small travel trailer. Yeah. So I, that's what I liked most about it. That was that. good. I like that. All right. So what, how about you? Which one did you like the best? My favorite one was the Forest River Nobo. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a nice one. I really liked it. Yeah. It was tough because they all did have some pretty awesome floor plans, but yep. I do like walking in right next to the refrigerator, you know, so oh, if yeah, you have yeah. to quickly get something to go outside. You need a drink or something. You right. Walk in and grab it and out the door you go. Yeah, yeah. and you're not walking into your bedroom. You know, right. you, the first thing you walk in isn't your bed. It's your kitchen area. Right. Yeah. Um, it had an awesome sofa, pretty long yeah. sofa. Yep, it did. Um, the TV was great between the bedroom and the sofa. Yep. I thought the placement of that. And the bathroom was great too. The bathroom was great. Right. It has our favorite, you know, shower door enclosure. Yep. Um, still plenty of room on the potty. Yeah, the elbow test was good. Yeah, no doubt. So, yeah, that one was definitely my favorite. So, if you want to check out some other travel trailers with no dinettes, click the box on the screen because we're going to review five travel trailers, all different manufacturers with no dinettes. See you in the next video. I think I look weird as because I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> one more time. All right. Dinette. Other dinettes. All the dinettes. <laughs> mm. There are none. There are none. Psych.